breaking news that's coming in from the state of Tamil Nadu where an AIADMK worker has been hacked to death. This is an incident that has emerged from Puducherry border. A gang of five people followed and then surrounded the AIADMK worker. The, the person that you see on your screens right now is Padmanabhan. Now, this is the person who's been hacked to death. He's been identified as an AIADMK worker who has been attacked with sharp weapons. In fact, just on July 27, which is yesterday, a BJP worker also was hacked to death and this incident was reported from Sivaganga. So we've seen in the past as well, a lot of leaders from different political parties, mainly opposition parties, have been killed in various incidents. My colleague Dharani joins us on the broadcast to get us more details on this. Dharani, now a lot of focus has been on how opposition netas in the state of Tamil Nadu have been killed, of course, due to various reasons, some even personal reasons. But again, this brings the focus back on the political attacks or political leaders now facing attacks in the state of Tamil Nadu. Ashik, earlier in the month, there was a huge discussion about the law and order situation in Tamil Nadu following the death of uh, Bhagavan Samaj Party's state president K. Armstrong. Uh, so now, uh, in the last 24 hours alone, a political workers belonging to three political parties, one uh, from AADMK, one from uh, BJP, and you know, uh, a Congress councillor's husband from Kanyakumari also. All of them, they've been hacked to a death by, uh, you know, uh, three different gangs. Uh, so, uh, as you rightly said, uh, this ADMK worker named Patna Patmanabhan, he uh, was hacked to death in the uh, uh, Kadalur Pondicherry border. Uh, he was travelling uh, by his two-wheeler when a gang of five men uh, surrounded him and they attacked him with sharp weapons. Similarly, when it comes to the BJP worker, uh, his name is Selva Kumar. And he, uh, is a, he is a BJP functionary from Sivaganga district of Tamil Nadu. Uh, so yesterday night, when he was returning home from work by a two-wheeler, again, a gang of unidentified men uh, surrounded him and hacked him to death with sharp weapons. And uh, when the, as far as this Kanyakumari incident is concerned, uh, uh, this is a Congress councillor's husband. Uh, the victim himself is not a politician, but he is the husband of a Congress councillor. Uh, so we are ready to uh, get further de details on this Kanyakumari murder. But as far as uh, uh, the whole, uh, you know, the bigger picture is concerned, in the last 24 hours, Ashik, uh, three, uh, you know, uh, uh, people uh, involved in politics in some way or the other, they've been hacked to death by three different gangs. And uh, the GMK is yet to uh, react officially on this, uh, on these murders so far. But meanwhile, the opposition parties, the ADMK and BJP, both of them, uh, they are mounting pressure on the GMK Sarkar. They are questioning uh, the competence of the GMK government when it comes right. to... Right. Dharani, I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast there with all those details. Of course, MK Stalin government has been under the radar of the opposition as far as the political attacks or the attacks on political leaders from the opposition is concerned. And now this is yet another incident that's come to light where an AIADMK worker has been hacked to death. And again, he'll have to answer a lot of questions and the opposition is expected to raise these issues in the assembly as well. Right, on that note, viewers, let's slip into a short break.